tidy home really makes such a difference to a person's sense of well-being. However, organizing your home does not have to be an expensive interior decoration project because all you need is a little out-of-the-box thinking and just a little bit of elbow grease. Welcome to Jensen's DIY. Here are 50 brilliant storage ideas to put your home in order. 1. You can get some stackable wine racks and inexpensive plastic cups to organize your office or even craft supplies. By using a stackable wine rack, you save a lot of space and your supplies such as markers, pens, paintbrushes, pins, etc. are within easy reach. 2. Are you a fan of craft projects and have tons of scrap paper that you use? File all your scrap or scrapbook paper in file folders so that you can reuse them or create a new crafts project. By sorting out your scrapbook paper, you end up saving paper, space, and money. 3. Don't throw out your old wire hangers. Instead, convert them into ribbon and tape holders. Take a pair of wire cutters and cut one end of the wire hanger. Use a pair of pliers to make hoops out of the cut ends, and now you can store all your ribbons and tape easily. 4. Power strips are a necessary evil in all homes nowadays, considering the number of electrical devices we use. However, they don't need to be in plain sight at all. Take a wire basket and hang it under your desk and put your power strips there. Not only are they out of sight, but it becomes more convenient to those short charging cords that don't quite reach the floor. 5. If you like to use ribbons and pile them up in a storage box, then spend hours trying to sort through them to find the one you want, then you can use a simple paper towel holder to organize all your ribbon spools. When they are neatly organized, you can easily find them instead of rifling through a messy drawer to look for them. 6. Organizing Tupperware lids can be a real pain. However, a really simple solution is to take a metal CD rack and place it sideways. Then, you can place your Tupperware lids in an upright position. If you arrange them size-wise, with the largest lids at the back, you will never have a problem finding the smaller lids again. 7. If you have basic sewing skills, then this is a brilliant way to organize your Tupperware lids. All you need is a piece of cloth, which you can sew several large pockets. Tack this lid holder onto the side of your cupboard door to save even more space. 8. When we're short on cupboard space, we tend to stack our plates. However, now, rather than stacking your plates, you can invest in some plate cradles. This way you can store your plates in an upright position, which would make it easier for you to take them out of your cupboard. 9. Instead of throwing away your food containers such as creamer bottles, recycle them. You can store your sugar, nuts, chocolate chips and small snacks. You can even use some of these containers as water bottles. 10. If you have a small space either in your kitchen or your bathroom, don't use a towel bar. Instead, get yourself some of those door handles with large loops. Mount them on the wall or wherever you need them and you have an interesting towel hook. 11. Shoe organizers can be used for almost any kind of storage. If you are looking for under sink storage, then all you need to do is buy a small shoe organizer or cut the one you have in half. 12. Most of us stack our bakeware and pans one on top of the other. Instead, get a bakeware organizer and attach it to your cupboard on its side. Your pans and bakeware will now be neatly organized and easily accessible. 13. Drawer dividers can be expensive. Instead, use things you may have lying around your house to create drawer dividers. You can use things like egg cartons, a shoebox lid, or even silicone muffin holders for this project. 14. Storing the lids of pots and pans can be messy and untidy. Instead, install towel bars on your kitchen pantry door and store your lids easily. The metal towel bars look the best, but you can even buy cheaper plastic ones if you like. 15. If you don't have shelf space or drawer space in your kitchen or pantry, then all you need to do is use push pins and tack your plastic wrap boxes to your pantry wall. Instant storage. 16. If you use spices in your cooking, 
but you have a small kitchen, then you might want to invest in some spice racks. You will save a lot of shelf space this way and organize your spices. Buy these nifty and inexpensive spice storage racks and mount them on your kitchen wall or inside your kitchen cupboards. 17. Cupboards usually have height, which means you end up stacking all your kitchen supplies. This makes it difficult to take out stuff when you need it. Instead, invest in some cheap magazine holders. You can store your kitchen supplies in an upright position, thereby utilizing your cupboard space more efficiently and accessing your supplies more easily. 18. If you have a lot of cosmetics and accessories, which are usually piled up in one place, then you can try this idea. Attach command hooks to the door of your bathroom cabinet and hang small baskets from them. This way you can store your small hair accessories and makeup neatly. 19. Instead of cluttering your bathroom counter with your hair dryer, create a storage space for these appliances using a file box. You can attach it to either the wall or the side of your counter. 20. You can stick a magnetic strip to the door or drawer of your bathroom cabinet and then use it to hold all your metal accessories such as hair clips, nail files, tweezers, etc. 21. If you have a small bathroom with little or no cupboard space, then this is a lovely idea. All you need is a wall-mounted wine rack and voila! You have a beautiful towel holder that adds style to your bathroom. 22. Don't like your toothbrushes in the open? Then maybe this idea will work for you. Store your toothbrushes in your bathroom medicine cabinet this way to prevent them falling out every time you open the cabinet. 23. You can purchase those small, cheap plastic boxes and use them to organize your bathroom drawers. A great way to store your makeup and accessories. 24. Spice racks are not only great for storing spices, but also all kinds of small knickknacks. If you have a drawer full of small stuff just jumbling up in a big mess, then you can use your spice rack to store your rubber bands, pins, beads, and so on. 25. You can beautify your bathroom by getting yourself a pretty little Q-tip dispenser. This handy little tool not only helps you keep your bathroom neat, but it also dispenses one Q-tip at a time, making it easy to get one out. It's also more hygienic when you put your Q-tips in a container. 26. Use a simple sturdy hanger and shower curtain rings to create a rack in your closet for those difficult to store scarves and hats. You probably already have a hanger and curtain rings cost just about two to three dollars. 27. If you love heels and have a collection of this, then read on. All you need are crown molding and base molding. Fix the crown molding at an angle to the base molding on your wall. And you have a nifty little storage solution for your high heels. 28. If you own a bunch of flip-flops, then this hack is for you. All you need are some cheap wire hangers, wire cutters, and a set of pliers, and you will have a practical storage option for your beloved flip-flops. First, grab a handful of the flimsiest metal hangers you can find in your closet. You may need to score the metal with pliers, and then snap it with your hands. Now, take your pliers and roll up the two edges, like this. Using both your hands and your pliers, bend your hanger into this approximate shape. Add ribbon into it, and it's done. 29. You can store your delicate Christmas ornaments easily now. All you need to do is glue a set of plastic cups to a piece of cardboard and then put them in stacks inside a storage bin. This way you protect even the most delicate ornaments for the future. 30. Create your own gift wrap organizer that is not just practical but attractive too. You can then hang your gift wrap organizer anywhere in your home. For this DIY project, you will need hooks, a frame, and curtain rods. After assembling and painting the frames, lean them against the wall for hanging placement. Remove the gift wrap frame and drill holes along each side of it in even increments to hold cup hooks. Put the hooks at the frame. The caps on the ends of the rods keep the rod in place. Insert a roll of gift wrap over a rod and place it into the cup hooks. Insert the gift wrap into the rod and it's done. 
31. Christmas lights are a nightmare to store away properly since they get so tangled up when you roll them up. Instead, wrap those pesky strings of light around pieces of cardboard or paper rolls. This will prevent the wires from becoming tangled. 32. If you are looking for an innovative shoe storage idea, then this is it. All you need to do is get your hands on a wine case. These cartons already have compartment inserts, which can be used to store your small shoes and sandals. 33. Instead of leaving your small items such as crayons, stickers, rubber bands, and so on jumbled up, you can organize them using a soapbox. A soapbox costs just about a dollar, so it's a really inexpensive way of organizing your knickknacks. 34. Instead of throwing out your egg cartons, you can use them for a variety of organizing projects in your home. You can use them to store small toys and your accessories. If you get those plastic egg cartons, even better! They are designed to protect even the most delicate eggs, so even the most delicate Christmas ornaments will be safely stored too. 35. If you have a lot of small items that lie messily in one drawer, you can use ice cube trays to separate them. For example, you can store your jewelry, beads, paper clips, etc. in these trays, and you will never have to rummage through your drawer again. 36. You can use your trash can for much more than just trash. It is the right size for storing long tubes of gift wrapping paper. Save even more space by getting rid of the cardboard tubes inside those rolls. 37. A shoe organizer is actually a really versatile storage tool. You can hang it up just about anywhere to use it to store almost anything, from cleaning supplies to socks in your closet. The best part is, these organizers take up unused wall or closet door space. 38. When you live in a small house or apartment, then don't waste any empty spaces. This includes your ceiling. If you have tons of wrapping paper rolls, then you can store them on your ceiling. All you need to do is fix a few rods or wires across your pantry ceiling and you have a ready-made storage space for storage. 39. Plastic wraps and foils usually take up a lot of cupboard space and are difficult to reach when you need them. Use the back of your pantry door to store your rolls. All you need for this project are stick-on hooks and you can fix your rolls to the door. 40. With so many things in the house needing batteries, we usually stock up on batteries and then can't find them when we need them. Plastic tackle boxes are a great way to store all those batteries you have. You can even segregate them by type and size so that you don't have to turn your drawer upside down when you need new batteries. 41. Another great hack for storing your ribbons is by using a swinging arm skirt rack or even a slacks hanger. All you need to do is remove the clips, open the arms, and slip your ribbons onto them. 42. Instead of piling up your linens haphazardly, you can place your sheets inside their matching pillowcases. This works especially well for fitted sheets. Doing so will save you time and effort, looking for matching sets when you need to change the sheets. 34. If you don't have room to place your laundry baskets, then this idea is for you. You just need to install a shelving unit, and there you have it. You have a perfect way to store your laundry baskets. 44. If you ever thought you couldn't get creative with PVC pipes, then here's another idea. You can use them as holders for your curling irons. All you need to do is mount them on the door of your bathroom cabinet, and you have the perfect storage solution for your appliance. Just make sure you measure the holsters of your appliances before you get those pieces of PVC. 45. This DIY project can help you store balls easily and conveniently. You just a few pieces of wood and bungee ropes to set up a kind of basket. This way, the balls can be removed and put back easily. 46. Do not throw away your baby wipe cases. They are really handy to have around the house. You can repurpose them and use them to store things like markers, stickers, and even your baby's crayons. 47. An ironing board can be a pain to store. It's bulky and tends to get in the way. 
You can create a wall-mounted storage option behind the laundry room door or in your walk-in closet. All you need are some rope hooks mounted on the wall and you're all set. 48. If you have a garden mailbox and want to get rid of it, don't! Instead, convert it into a mini tool shed. You can place it in your garden as an accent piece. Grow some vines around it or place it in a flower bed and use it to store your small garden tools. 49. This rack is available in the market, but if you're handy with tools, then you can make one yourself with PVC pipes. They are great for drying your wet clothes in the sun without having to put up a clothesline, and they are easy to move. 50. Don't throw away a used disinfectant wipes container. Instead, repurpose them for the storage of dog poop bags. You can also use them to store those plastic bags that you're planning to recycle. So, what do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. For more decorating and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.